<sighs> Fuck, this is the most I've drank in a while. You guys over, man. Same here. <laughs> All right. Ladies. Thank goodness you live close. You can walk Oh, home. you should have seen me in, in Vegas. In, in oh, Vegas. my God. Really? Fuck. Did you even find your room? I'm lucky I found my room. Oh. I'm lucky. There's I fucking video room. of me on like the... Oh, oh my on god! On the standing, on on the on the, on, the, on the moving carpet, I'm just like, oh. Oh my god! Too bad uh, we missed it. Uh, oh my god! Show it to you after, okay, after the video. We should post that. No, I don't think so. Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Welcome to the Crew Roundtable Podcast, featuring Big V, Marco, Gino. And JR, with your host, the champ who runs the camp, Sal Champ. Visit us at crewroundtable.com. Ladies and <laughs> <laughs> listeners, welcome to another episode of the Crew Roundtable. I'm your host, Sal Champ, and our, at the table, as always, starting from my left, we have Big V. Why? To his left, we have Tito. Howdy doody. Right on. Good levels. Breeze? Uh, greetings and salutations, champ. Thank you very much once again for having us in your wonderful home here. Because you say and it every time. Do you record this? I hope that we live up to your standards and we put forth an entertaining podcast. Tonight. You always do. That's why the door stays open. Awesome. Thank champ, you for joining champ, us. Champ, I love you, but I, I, I don't strive for any standards for you. I just... <laughs> speak <laughs> JR welcome hello champ it's a pleasure to be back great move a little closer to your mic so we could get some good levels there okay because not only am I the host I'm also the engineer of this podcast so everyone looks to be okay excellent <laughs> great so um for this episode <laughs> we're going to be talking about um online uh comments uh I guess this is in, in posts, in YouTube. At the bottom um, of news articles. Okay, so anything that gives feedback to something that's been published online. Yeah. Okay. So, who wants to kick off this discussion? Is it pure poison? Or is it beneficial? Or, you know, what is it? The, the, I have found in my, in, my, in my internet travels, the, the comments do not contribute much to the, the discussion. And if anything... It tends to give a forum because a lot of times they are unmoderated. Some yeah. so, some comment some comments are not, but not a lot of websites have the manpower to filter the onslaught of poisonous comments. Like we're talking the most uh, bigoted, racist, mouth breathing comments mouth out there. Breathing. Like it, it, it's just a forum to say. Whatever you want, without yeah. any kind of, and we're not even talking about the spelling. Just the sim- simply <laughs> the content is just the most base v- and vile ideas that you could ever imagine. Yeah, let's not get bogged so, down on spelling because so, autocorrect screws up a lot of things. Apparently, no, no, no. Okay, this so, is not autocorrect. So there's I'm, no autocorrect going on. I'm here. a I upload videos to YouTube. I'm a YouTube content provider, whatever. Um, you know, sometimes I do come across a negative feedback. It's not that bad. It's nothing, you know, I can just, you know, pack up my bags, cry, and close up my account. Don't whatever your accomplishments. You are a YouTube partner. Okay? Don't belittle the efforts that you went through to get that status. You know what? In even, the beginning, even if you do get paid less now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, before you actually had to, you know, put a little effort into being a YouTube partner, um, yeah, it was, it, it, you know, it was kind of neat. You know, I did what I had to do. You know, I put out my videos every week. Unfortunately, now that I got to get back on that on that train. Um, but I've come across some videos. I've come across, uh, sorry, I've uploaded my videos and I've come across some negative comments, but it's... You know, it's just something I just wipe off my sleeve and and move on, right? Um, but and Who's I put up negative comments about you, and I <laughs> and, 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 and I and I hear that, and you know, I don't think they're that bad. 
right? But there's some pretty bad stuff that's out there. There are. You're right. The, you know, you probably, if, if it's attacking the content or if it's a critique of the content, that's that's fair. Yeah. But a lot of the times, it's 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 a directed personal attack mm-hmm, mm-hmm. against either the author or someone in the article. Yeah, it's not a they don't use it as a discussion forum. They just use it as an attack forum, which is not the same thing. It's two different things. Yeah, you know, and if you're just there to unload your your your, your thoughtless uh, drivel. You're 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 actually starting. Not only are you taking away from the conversation, not not contributing to the, you're taking away from the conversation, because you're 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 creating this haven, of where it's okay to say these things. Yeah. When it's actually when when it when it isn't uh, you, you, when it isn't actually okay to say it at all. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know I can say that you know I've put up my videos, okay, and I'm sorry to direct this towards my stuff, but. I mean, I can I can tell you, you know, what I've been through. I mean, I put up a video, and let's say I made a mistake in in guiding someone and putting a belt around a fucking turntable. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, uh, don't listen to this guy. He fucking doesn't know anything. I'm like, yeah, fucking relax. Just say, you know, um, you know, just say, hey, the t- the belt doesn't belong around that pin. It belongs around this other pin. You know, and I'll go back and I'll correct myself and I'll put a note on my video saying, hey. I was wrong. That pin belong that the belt doesn't go around that pin. It goes on another one, um, you know. And and sometimes yeah, it's like oh, this guy fucking this guy sounds like fucking, I don't know, peg leg peak, something like that. <laughs> you know, like critique my video. I made a mistake. Yeah, you know, I don't mind if you if you say that I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Yeah. Point it out. And, and I'm sure you're getting well, off easy because you're you're a white male. You know, I, I guess I am. Can we stop with the white male? Put a person, put a person of color in that video from? or a woman where and suddenly the, 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 the comments escalate. Where, they escalate. Well, why would you even bring that up? Because did it's you, because it's a point okay, of, of the discussion. You, wait, have, have you even physically compared chap with people of color online with the number of negative comments that he has received with respect to I've, I've seen I've, I've seen other videos you know for the slightest mistake the the, the, the comments escalate in viciousness escalate in viciousness more so if you're a woman than if you're a guy women get there is zero um, forgiveness for any mistake and they they attack they attack them directly verbally hmm. for for the for the le- for for the for the, for the po- slightest misstep. Oh, she's wearing something too skimpy. They start to attack her virtue. Really? Oh, oh yeah. They, they go. They any excuse. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. If, if any any uh, any fans of the show that uh, are familiar with the uh, the comic um, Penny Arcade. May oh, recall a, a long uh, time. the March nineteenth two thousand four uh, comic. Uh, it's it's entitled um, Green Blackboards and Other Anomalies, where the it's making a comment on the uh, on video gaming uh, commentary where you can talk to each other while you're playing video games, which is another kind of forum. It's referred to as um, uh, Unreal. It's uh, the, the, the 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 title. It's entitled. Uh, Unreal Tournament 2004 lends incontrovertible proof to John Gabriel's greater internet fuckwad theory. If you take a normal person and you give him anonymity and an audience, you almost inevitably get a total fuckwad out of that. Because once you no longer have to face the person that you are unloading this poison onto... You can say anything you want, and it is consequence-free. So is your issue with the anonymity or with the comment section? It's a com- the, 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 the comment section is a, uh, is a consequence of having online anonymity. I agree with you on that because people on Twitter, behind some sort of handle that they made up for themselves, become very brave. Mm. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. If people had to say the things 
that they said on Twitter and actually had to be accountable for them, I believe there will be a much different discussion that takes place. Mm -hmm. Twitter is a place where you go and you can give your instant reaction to anything in 140 characters or sometimes they have a twit longer service or something like that where you can do more but people hide behind that shield of anonymity and they say, I'm just being me, I'm just being real. No, you're not because no one knows who you are. On Twitter, I go under my real name on Twitter, mm -hmm. okay? If someone wants to find me, they can find me. So when I'm on Twitter and I'm either tweeting about our show here that we do at Crew Roundtable or I'm tweeting about myself, which is at Shut Up Hippie, okay? I have my real name. I have my real uh, uh, contact information there so that people can speak to me. When someone tweets under, you know, their picture is an egg, and they tweet under whatever happens to whatever name they happen to come up with they don't have to face the consequences of their immediate reaction to things yes mm -hmm. and the comment section especially on uh news articles so in canada we've got you know three or f we've got two national newspapers i guess if you want to call them uh, national post and the globe and mail the comments on those articles that take place, people will twist what the article is about to push their own agenda. They'll, even, they'll just make up facts and mm -hmm. make, make things up. It, it, exactly. They will just make things up. So I found that reading the comments section, which I do quite a lot of, uh, doesn't really lead me to any conclusions. I find that just reading the article is enough. Yeah. Uh, the comment section... So, I mean, some papers have even shut their comment section down. There's a reason uh, why... I, I, someone I, I, has. Kudos to them. Yes. Kudos someone, to them. someone has shut... Yeah. And I heard that there is, there, There's a reason why Facebook does not have a dislike button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. They have the like. They have the love. They have, you know, a bunch wow. of... Wow. Wow. They have, like, six other happy face, uh, well, sad, they, they, sad, empathy. sad, sad they, face, they, empathy, whatever. Empathy. But they do not have a dislike button. The closest I think they have to that is there's an angry face. Yeah. yeah. Angry. You go on, you, there's, an, there, there's an angry face. But what does that, what does that really mean? It, it's supposed to emote displeasure. Displeasure. With, with what's being but, posted. But, it's, but you can't... There's no one-to-one -one mapping between I dislike what this post is saying because as soon as you put a dislike button on Facebook, things will be disliked into oblivion. Oh, yeah, the negativity. And, then, and they're trying to make Facebook a happy place. Mm -hmm. it, 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 so. and, and at least, and I will give kudos to Facebook for trying to jump in and keeping things on the up and up. Uh, Twitter has been criticized quite harshly for allowing its platform to become the Wild West. I believe it culminated this uh, this summer with uh, everyone know that Leslie Jones uh, very publicly quit Facebook after being uh, the actress uh, Leslie Jones after being a very targeted attack uh, between racially and sexually uh, against her. Because she was a black actress, mm -hmm. and she she and, and she was she was just drowned in in negative comments uh, to the point where Twitter could no longer even pretend it wasn't a problem anymore. Uh, give a little bit of context. Leslie Jones was in uh, Leslie Ghostbusters. Jones was it was in it was in the Ghost in the new Ghostbusters movie, um, and 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 just on her that affiliation alone. Uh, which was negatively received uh, for for various reasons, but because she was in that movie, uh, because she was a black woman, she got a lot of negative tweets along those lines. Uh, it, it was, and the volume was such that the, Twitter could no longer even bear, keep sticking its head in the sand and saying that they don't have a problem. They had they actually had the ban one of the they, they finally had to probably kick off one of their first people off the off the platform 
which is some uh, some some uh, some Greek asshole in uh, Mil- uh, Milo. Yeah, some uh, some high, uh, really conservative uh, yeah Greek guy. Yeah, had to be kicked off the platform because he just uh, inspired so much hate towards his actress who didn't actually do anything other than dare to be in a movie uh, about some with some cultural culturally significant characters. So, how many people around this table read news online? I read some. 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 Yeah, some. Tito? Very little. Very little. Big V? Same, very little. Okay. Do you read the comments section? No. No. On any uh, articles whatsoever? Yeah, I no try. Comment I, section? I, no. I keep trying, and it keeps poop. teaching me not to do that. I've stopped doing that. <laughs> you stopped oh, doing it, it. There is there is no intelligent conversation there. Oh, well, it starts. There may be a couple, and then it goes. It, 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 there's a dark turn real fast. I've noticed comment sections on, I guess YouTube. No, and I've found nothing intellectually mm-hmm. important. Unless or, it's a music video. It's a music. Even, if it's a, even, if it's a music then. video that everyone <laughs> likes, it's like, oh yeah, I want this played at my funeral, it, it, man. It depends if it's a girl. If it's <laughs> right. a girl shaking her ass, the, everyone's got to comment on. I don't a, think uh, I've watched that. On, 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 everyone's mostly, got to comment. Yeah. everyone has to comment negatively. Oh, wow. Her. Oh yeah. See now, I found the comment section on YouTube to be relatively informative, depending on the content. So when I watch videos on card game that I play, Magic the Gathering, and there are about half a dozen main channels that aggregate all the interest on YouTube. When I watch those videos, the comments on those videos I find actually informative. Yeah, they can be. Like they if, can be. So, but when there's a video on, you know, general U.S. politics... Or uh, there's a, there's a uh, there's a lady I know. Her sister basically makes her living off of YouTube. She reviews uh, makeup. She reviews fashion. She her whole family is entrenched in making YouTube videos. And when I read those comments, those comments add nothing to the video. Mm-hmm. Right of what actually happened, so I find it has a lot to do with whatever the content is that's on the YouTube, that or that's on the YouTube video. Those comments follow after at the end. When it comes to news, National Post, CTV, Facebook, CBC, the comments always take a political spin, and they always, like Jr. was saying, they just scream out of control, mm-hmm. and. You know, you read six, seven comments deep and you're like, I've lost the plot of whatever the hell the actual content was of the article. Mm-hmm. So I, I just I just ignore the articles. I, I sorry, Not the articles. I ignore the comments section <coughs> in the articles. I guess the intention is for, for them to be helpful, right? The comments. It's like the, if I, I, if I watch a do-it-yourself video yeah. on how to do a drop ceiling and I watch the video and it's 10 minutes long, I read some of the comments, there might be a helpful tip in the comments. Oh, the how-to videos? Exactly. Yeah, sure, right. but, if it, but you should but be that's... able to, as a human being, you don't have to agree with the video. Mm-hmm. If, the, if the video says something that angers you, that's fine. And if you can, if you can, if you can emote that disagreement in, uh, without actually having to use derogatory language against the person who was in there, or making things up, then that's a healthy discussion. You're but talking they, about critiquing the. You're, you're talking about. You know what? I wouldn't go with. Uh, you know this specific T bar or these right. these hooks coming okay, down well, on the. T- usually, usually you how to that. usually how tos don't get don't get that kind of poison. It's usually you know uh, other. Things. I guess but I guess opinion. Dis- yeah, if you disagree with something in like a political video, for example, oh, then. Yeah. I think you should be able to have that discussion, but people are clearly not them. Demonstrating that they have the 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 the, the 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 discipline to keep it 
clean and friendly and, and, and mutually respectable. Yeah, I don't... It no. becomes an immediate personal attack. Yeah. I think the derog- and, and there's no debate. The derogatory stuff that you're talking about is probably mostly propagated by juveniles, right? Well, yeah, but it's still really poisonous. Right. I'm not saying that it's not adults, but it's probably... I would like to think that it's mostly juveniles, right? Uh, you'd, be, you'd be surprised. Yeah, you don't some, know. Some of, of course. I mean, you, that's the problem is you don't know. Adults are capable of these, of these things too, mm-hmm. right? But that's mm-hmm. but that's why juveniles are not going onto YouTube to find out how to make a drop ceiling. Middle-aged men are. But, so but then, at the same time, those middle-aged men will uh, do have a sense of superiority. You make one mistake... And suddenly, your everything is invalidated, as opposed to simply pointing out a correction and then moving on. Mm-hmm. I have to I have to agree with that because even something as simple as autocorrect that comes in, and it will change the meaning of what you're saying. Uh, whenever you're tweeting or whenever you're writing something on your computer, <coughs> things may happen. Your words may be changed. Before you even notice, before you hit the send button, um, people fixate on those little anomalies in comment sections, and you end up spinning off into some tangent of a discussion, and it's like, I would like to see them just turn the comment section off. I don't need a comment section. If I'm reading something on cbc.ca or nationalpost.ca, or globeandmail.ca, and they're talking about the current real estate market, right? They post these articles every week almost on, will there be a bubble in the real estate market? Uh, How do you make money in the real estate market? What about interest rates? How will that impact people? And then the comment sections just degenerate into into this morass of, Agents, real estate agents are all crooks. Uh, the Bank of Canada is a farce. Like, that has nothing to do with the actual article that took place. I'm sure someone sh- sh- shoehorns an anti Semitic comment in there. Yeah, so probably. At least one. Probably. At least and, one, you'll see. And all it has to do with the original article was just giving you the facts on, you know, sales in the past quarter. The average price of a home in Toronto in the past quarter, right? It was very factually based. The Jews are raising the prices. Facts, <laughs> is that it, JR? Everything the from, Jews are raising the prices. Everything that's from it, the exactly. Ontario Clearly, real that's, estate that's board. And it, and, and it turns into something where people start talking about bubbles, what to do, who should do things. Like it just, it, those comments, there'd be 300 comments on an article. And you read those 300 comments and they add nothing. They right. had so nothing the, to yeah. there's, there's different levels of comments, right? There's the ones that are that are useless to you because they don't seem to be topical anymore mm-hmm. as, as it goes on. And then there's the derogatory ones. Well, yeah, yeah, right? that's, yeah exactly. Like the derogatory ones are really problematic. These yeah. are... Uh, and well, I guess you can is, waste, your, waste a lot of time reading all these comments. And, there's not a, and, and, and the sites just don't have the resources to moderate this. Mm-hmm. Like You may have one... I'm sure that you have one moderator dealing with maybe 50 or 60 articles. Oh, Meanwhile, they're, no getting, yeah, they're yeah. getting 70 or 80 posts in a half an hour. Yeah, so they, they you can't cannot keep up. keep up with all those comments. So can't. question, question for the roundtable. Does anyone use Reddit? Does anyone read Reddit? No. Uh, I, I use a little bit, but I don't, I'm not a member. Reddit. Reddit. I'm not even sure what it is. Me neither. Okay. So I have a Reddit account, and I read it quite a lot. Um, it's very good for, again, I play Magic the Gathering. There are a lot of Reddit <laughs> Subreddits. What is, what is it's, like a gen- it's like a gen- you know generic we'll, we'll have forums for places that don't have the No, this yes. card game. We'll, we'll have Magic, an episode. We'll have Magic, an episode. We'll need an episode. We'll Magic an episode the Gathering is a fantastic card game, and I would yeah. love to show you how to play. Okay. But um, I use That's... I use uh, Matt, sorry, I use Reddit to uh, Reddit to me is just a comment. S- is just a comment section without the article. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. So you will have people that are called original posters, in scare quotes, right? OP? Yeah, you OP. 
You will have people who put articles up on Reddit, and then people will vote that article up or down, and they will make comments on that article. So uh, there's a, a popular Reddit called The Donald, which is about Donald Trump. Okay? And there will be posts there, and people can comment on each individual post and vote it up or down. Right? Same thing with Magic the Gathering. There are individual subreddits. The uh, uh, there are individual subreddits that deal with different aspects of this card game. People will post articles and they'll vote it up or down. But when you go to a news gathering institution such as you know National Post, Globe and Mail, CBC.ca, things like that, they will put up an article. And then there will be 200 comments on it. And the comments, like JR was saying, tend to just meander. They just end up being partisan comments, talking about, the liberal, talking about liberals, conservatives, points of view, and it just loses the whole flavor of the article itself. So I don't find the articles that deal, I don't find the article sections give any value whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I would concur. I, I, if I if I if I were to start a website, there would be no comment section. So my cousin and I have a website on genealogical research. Okay. And the comment section. Like rubbing the lamp. What? <laughs> he said genealogical. <laughs> like oh. like, fa- like researching your family tree. Oh, okay, okay. You said genealogical, so rubbing a, the lamp. You have a website. Genealogical. Yes, I do. What does that what does that mean you have a website when for Gia Lab? What is it? Robtito now. Robtito.com? We've known Rob Tito. I don't know how long he tells you have a, a website now. No, what is this? We've had it for All a right, long well, time. We continue, well, whatever, whatever. continue to your point. Anyways, he so, will. so the comment section allows people who are looking for information on let's say their surname. It allows us to get in contact with them and help them out figure point them in the right direction. Hold oh, on, okay. wait, hold on, hold on. Down the back a few notches. Uh-huh. What is the website? You mean the actual address? Yes. yes. I'm not sure that I know it. Okay, we'll save that for another I episode. I think it's www.gfamilytree.com or so org. you have this with your cousin? Yeah. yeah. So what does this website do? So we've... We've done research into our family trees. Okay. And you know what? I'll tell you right now. He's got 90s GIFs <laughs> all over this page of little construction zones. Is it hosted by Geo Cities? And, uh, <laughs> Is it hosted by Geo <laughs> <by Chio Cities? laughs> Cities? Is it? Angel Fire. Angel Fire. Under construction for the past no, 25 no, years. Tito. What is it? Sorry, what is it? Go ahead. It's, it's, it's a, like the publishing of our research. Into what? Into the so into our family tree. That's how it started, really. But then it's kind of expanded beyond that to like every family in the town that our parents are from, and then the whole parish, and it's it's gone beyond that parish. So the whole kind of region. Mm. And you have a comment section. Yes, we have comment section, and people write in and say, "Hi, Who I'm 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 John Smith. My grandfather was." Whatever. Was whatever, and he was born in this year, and I so, think he was born in this town. So you don't get any negative comments like, oh, you're a bunch of firefighters. No. Go so we get, we get those kind of comments, <laughs> and we get... Uh, firefighters. We get, I guess bots. Like, you know... For, like, but what do the pers- bots say? Pr- prescriptions They're just advertising and things like that. Bots. Yeah. The, the advertising, yeah. Okay. Everywhere. So that's the... the they won't say anything negative, though. Of the comments, right? They're like... So it's Get mostly useless comments. Seattle's. But once in a while, there's, it's interspersed with something that's interesting or useful. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, I, mean, I mean, for your application, the, I mean, you hardly find something negative. Yeah, no, it had, there's never been any negative. Yeah. No. Um, I think maybe... But then also, we're not getting high, you know, hundreds of thousands of hits a day. Right. That's true. You don't have the traffic yeah. to attract the trolls. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But a YouTube video mm-hmm. where you actually get to see the presenter, the host. Oh. Well, there's nice people, fucking nose. Yeah, there's there's people who yeah. make their living off of YouTube. Yeah. Right. There's 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 guys who I watch. Yeah. 
that make videos about Magic the Gathering, and that's their job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes work if you can get it. That's oh, yeah. their job. But but the, the video quality is is the production quality is high value. Very much so. Yes, it's not guys sitting with you know taking an iPhone and putting it on a tripod and pointing at themselves, right? These you know are, what? I got a comment about that. Go ahead. We'll save it. No, go ahead. Don't make it derogatory. No, it's not. Do it, it now. It, there's YouTube. <sighs> YouTube is supposed to be just someone in front of a camera doing their thing. Says who? It says me. You don't Because that's you how YouTube count. started. Someone got but a camera. Explains. But 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 someone got a camera. It's not it's not the quality of the video that's important. Oh, quality oh, counts yeah, for a lot. It's yeah, the it message. It's okay. the message you're trying to get across. Hold on. Hold on. Which, well, which why should I have visuals. why should I have a red camera? Fifteen thousand dollars. Hold on, hold on. For a YouTube video. Okay, hold on. So, I watch a YouTube channel. Okay, and I'll give them some free pub- free publicity here. It's called Ratch Loves. R A C H H. You don't have to spell. L O V E S. No, don't spell it. <laughs> okay. No, no, I am. I am gonna spell it. That's gonna get cut out. Okay. In the no, it's, it's not gonna get cut out. <laughs> don't kid. Don't don't cool, don't kid anybody. So I watch this video. Yeah. It is a lady. Yeah. Um, she, uh, the bulk of her, the bulk of her videos are makeup tutorials. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Ratch loves. Now she is part of the video. Yeah. Her husband helps out part of the video. For sure. Her family is part of the video. So this YouTube channel is what <coughs> funds her family. Right. Okay. It is done very well. Okay. She gets a ton of hits. The quality is always top notch. Okay. And she knows exactly what to say to get people to watch her videos from the following that she has cultivated through the whole time. Yeah, but you don't need a fancy camera and high value video production to to get that message across. It helps because if unfortunately if you're distracted by poor quality video, yeah, but it, it what? takes away from the message. Okay, but and what? sometimes you're trying to show something with the video. What? Otherwise, you would do it in a podcast. What device today shoots a crappy video? I mean, an iPhone would shoot a decent video. You, you can shoot crappy video with expensive equipment if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, but look, no one shoots uh, a, a video with an eyeball cam anymore. Uh, what's that man? What's that manufacturer that made the little ball that sat on top of your computer? You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Logitech. 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 Yeah, Logitech. Remember that? Yeah. You know, there would be a ball that sit there. You know, fucking six forty uh, uh, video. No one uses that really. No, but, but, but that's but, how but, YouTube but started, though. Yeah, but the thing is, the the, te- the video technology now costs the same as that ball does. Why should I still use that shitty, shitty ball when for the same price I'm getting really good quality production value? You're right. I think F- spending fifteen hundred dollars on a video camera is questionable if you're not getting the traffic. Yeah, but. You sh- you still have the option to do it, and you think, shouldn't be criticized for it. You know, if you're going to then complain that you had to buy it, yeah. that's ridiculous. Right. But if you've got the means to buy it, and you want to put out the best video you can, you okay. should totally be allowed to do it. So I think my argument is more of the e-beggars that will come out on YouTube and say, you know what, guys, can you please donate? I really want to make better production videos. And it's like... But wait a minute. You got to where you are with the equipment you have. Okay. You don't enough. need to beg for money from that, me. That, that can be a little annoying. That, that, yeah, is, that, that, is, that. Okay, that is so that is that is where I'm getting at actually. Sorry for not getting to it sooner. But that is the, it's the e-begging, which it, it, you don't see it anymore. But it, there was a point where someone would come out. They'd set up their computer, they'd do their joke, they'd do their video, they'd do their skit, whatever it was. But then they'd come out and start, yeah, can you please donate? I'd like to make better quality videos. I'd like to get a better set. But you don't need to. You're getting the audience with with the tools you have. 
You know? Yeah. You don't need to start renting out a, 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 a you know, space. Yeah, but if well, some jerk wants to give us Green give screen. 20 bucks, then who cares? Yeah, but then it, then it, then it, it, it starts to become disproportionate part of the video. Or you think it's, or primarily it's, you know, 90% of the video. And then maybe a little shout out at the end. Mm. And then it starts to shift the percentage. Where then you've got an intro, mm-hmm. intro uh, bag, and then outro bag. Yeah. And then you end up just then. Then the channel which you really liked watching, then starts to this uh, starts to cr- get crushed under the it's weight so- of its own begging. Yeah, it, you know what? The substance isn't there anymore. Yeah, uh, you know. Okay, right. okay. Hold this on. This is a not second. really about comment oh, section. But on. anyways, I'm sorry. We, <laughs> no, no. We hold, on, hold on a section because if we're gonna be going into this deep, into this topic I didn't in want detail, to. I didn't want to. You, champ that runs the camp. You had a sub for sub. Do you really have policy. I did. Correct. I did. I did run a sub for sub. YouTube. Uh, what's the what's the des- what's the, des- the designation? If you become a YouTube uh, content provider, it was a YouTube partner. Partner, yes, but. partner. So you had a sub for sub where if someone subscribed to your channel, yeah, you would subscribe to theirs. I did sight unseen. I did, I did. Th- there's nothing against. There was no policy against that sub for sub, but at the end of it. You're not gaining any, 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 um, I mean, sure, you had a, you had a subscriber, n- uh, number, uh, but it didn't mean anything. The YouTube partnership wasn't based on the number of subscribers you had. In the end, it was just a big waste because okay, someone would check your subscription box, but would never watch your videos. What's the point? Okay. So there is, there's a guy that I follow on YouTube. Yeah. I'm subscribed to his channel. Yeah. Okay. His uh, his handle is Alpha Investments. Okay. Okay. Now he makes shows about Magic the Gathering. Okay. okay. Investing in Magic the Gathering. Oh, okay. Now his videos are the ultimate in bare bones videos. Perfect. His videos are him literally setting his setting his iPhone on a tripod. And then he talks into his iPhone yeah. for 25 minutes. Yeah. Does he okay. have good lighting? No. He, do- he doesn't have professional lighting. He doesn't have anything that's going on. Doesn't have to be professional. It doesn't just have to be, professional. be adequate. Okay. But he has 70,000 some odd subscribers. Amazing. He has a Patreon account. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. He, he, oh. Because he is a store on his own. He is an eBay store. So he has a Patreon account. Is his whole YouTube video is marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. Are you saying that he shouldn't be allowed to do that because he's just throwing an iPhone on, an, on a tripod? No, but he's selling. That's right? not the same thing. He's as selling. Bank. He's selling. He is offering a product. Mm-hmm. What, what, what mm-hmm. Champ is complaining about, people simply... Asking for money. Asking for money if, uh, when, when really... Your content should be should be dri- driving that. Your con- yeah, your content should be speaking, not the quality of your video. I don't care if it's if it's well, 1080p. No, no, if, it, if the quality of the video is inspiring people to donate, that's one thing. But if you've got to ask people, then clearly that's your answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, there's people that have just like I said, they've set they've set up a camera, they sit in front of the camera. And they do their thing, right? People watch it. They like it. They subscribe. You know? That's it. That's what YouTube is. It's, it's yourself. It's you. So what are you on the railing? screen? So what, what are you railing against? <coughs> the begging. The begging? Yeah. The begging for money. The e-begging. That's what I don't like. But didn't you do the exact same thing with the sub for sub? But I wasn't asking for money. No, but you were asking for subs. But I was giving a sub in return. You think that cancels it out? It does, because I'm not, I'm not, uh, like, by giving, uh, by, by, by asking for a sub, I'm not, they're not giving up anything. It's just a click it's of a mouse. Them anything. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think you're, I think you're <clears> equivocating <throat> no, on that point. No, there's no cost to that, JR. Thank you. Uh, like, 
what's it costing them? It's not like I'm at, yeah, give me ten dollars so I can buy a, a green screen and I can put myself underwater when okay. I do a video. What is your what is your number one video on your channel? Uh, what is your channel? Give it out. One of my Give it out. channels. What is what, so, <laughs> what is what what is your channel? So my channel is called the Tech Loft. Tech Loft. The yes. Tech Loft. Okay. okay. And what is your number one video? My number one video has to be probably a a it's related to Cody. So I have quite a few Cody videos on setting okay. it up, resetting it, you know, setting up for the first time. Okay. How adding, many how many views do you have on that? Well, you know what? My best video would be adding a hard drive in the PlayStation, PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2, I know, yeah. exactly. I've seen four that video a lot of times. Views. Yes, 4 million views. Wow. Yes. 4 million four views. 4 million. Okay. Yes. So, let's talk That's about amazing. that. Thank okay, you. so let's Thank let, you. Look, so let's talk about that video. So, adding a hard drive to PlayStation 2. Yeah. I've seen the video probably 3 times myself. <laughs> okay? Um What are the comments like on that video? It's a lot of people asking for the, um, 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 I, I think in that video, because, hey, listen, it's a lot to monitor. Like, like JR said, like for someone monitoring 60 posts, for me, you know, I've got like quite a lot of videos. I, I don't have time to monitor the comments and the comments on there would be, oh, hey man, uh, can you hook me up with a, with a, um, um, with a memory card with the software on it, something so like that. So do you have comment moderation on? Do you moderate the comments on that video? I don't. You don't. So you let people say whatever they want to I say. say that, you know what? If someone says, it, 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 like, if it's a video that I show my face and some dude says, oh, man, you got a big nose. Thanks. I know. Okay. You know I what? Imagine with four million more four million views, there's got to be a lot of comments. There's on comments that. there, and, and but you know what? Those comments there could be um, are are like questions. It's not really. They're not really negative. They're like, oh man, can you still do this? How do I do this? Can you get me a memory card that's formatted so I can add a hard drive myself? So you find value in the comments? No. No, because even I, at even at that point. No, no, yeah, because I don't. I I it at that point the video was the video is so old that I and I just don't have time to go back and answer them to answer these comments because it could be questions. I don't. Well, what's I the intended purpose of a comment section? I think it's to engage yeah. in a discussion yeah. about about the subject topic. Mm. Yeah, but if you don't respect who you're talking to, you you can't have a discussion. If if there, if there isn't even the uh, their respect for their own humanity, it breaks. And 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 you can tell that they are going on there without that, and the discussion f doesn't fails to take form right away. I you just know. I I find all the comment sections. Maybe putting YouTube off to the side. Mm -hmm. uh, all the comment sections that I read, if I, you know, if I'm on my lunch hour and I read the news, reading the comment section on the news articles adds absolutely nothing to the article. Yeah. Yeah, because nothing. Someone will come in there and they're like, "Oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about." They have an Fuck agenda, him. whatever they exactly. They have a, it, they have an agenda. Yeah, and then things spiral off. All these different tangents that take place, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah. it just it just becomes a morass of depravity, and you can't even get back to the original thesis of the article. No. It's like you know what? If I read the article, I just read the article and I move on. You can you can yeah. tell you can tell who went to that or looked for that article just to pour some gasoline <laughs> and set it on fire. Yeah, because they won't respond. It'll be it'll be an original comment. It will not be a response, and it'll be ultimate vulgarity. Yeah, yeah. You'll you'll know exactly who is there just to cause problems. Yeah. In a news posting, maybe I will glance just to get a gauge of what people think. You know, let's say it's politics. Mm -hmm. 
You know, are you talking about your YouTube channel? No, no, I'm just I'm talking else. about I'm talking about news articles. News articles. Uh, uh, there, there's there's another podcast I listen to called Probably Science, and I think in one. One episode, they, re- they review scientific ep- scientific paper uh, articles, you know, crit- criticizing the writing style and some of it. And I remember they were making there was one there was one article about this device that helps to 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 to, to, to fling fish over a, a dam, so that they don't get caught <laughs> by the dam. They can still migrate. So okay, yeah, this, spawn. They, they, they swim into this tube and it's ej- and, and it pneumatically ejects some. <laughs> Over the dam it's into the water. So it's a fish gun, basically. <laughs> Almost immediately, there were cannon. comments about using it to send Me- Mexicans back home over the border. <laughs> <laughs> Almost exclusively, that's all people talked about in that comment section. <laughs> <laughs> This is the li- and this is the, uh, clear. The, 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 this is the, the the not a sh- this is the shining example as to why you shouldn't give these people that kind of a form hey, voice. Uh, this is probably the reason why Twitter can't find a buyer. Uh, you, you're probably 100 percent right. Right, like uh, Twitter has been for sale for who knows how long. They can't find anyone to buy Twitter because it's a bunch of people going there under aliases and assumed names. And they are just saying the first thing that comes off the top of their head, it makes no sense. It leads to no actual discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, and, of course, there are counterexamples where people were talking about uh, the prevalence of Twitter during the Arab Spring that happened a few years ago, right? Um, all the crackdown that was happening in Egypt uh, with the government and people were tweeting about it and... I find all of those things to be very... I find all of those reports to ring very hollow because there are a lot of people on Twitter who have eggs as their mm. Twitter avatar and they have three followers and all they do is talk shit about whatever they see online. Um, it seems like everyone on Twitter is trying to be you know, the cool outsider and candy. say whatever they want to say candy. with zero repercussion. Um, I don't see how Twitter adds anything to, to, the, to the discussion because when you're just sitting there and saying the first thing that comes off the top of your head and you're protected by the shield of anonymity, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a lot of people become keyboard warriors. Yep. And it just, it adds nothing to the discussion. And, and yes. no surprise, they don't want to buy this big ball of hate. Exactly. With, it, with, that's, that's all with, it is. With the chocolate sprinkles that is, you know, positive social justice that happens to, that just happens to actually take place is just a thin candy shell mm-hmm. on a big ball of shit. Mm-hmm. Now, that being said, I would encourage everyone to follow us on at Crew Roundtable <laughs> on Twitter. Yes. <laughs> this is true. And, and you can send in your comments and questions to the show at Crew Roundtable. But uh, I can see why Twitter may be losing users, yeah. why it may be hard to sell Twitter, because it comes back to that same point that we had where there's no dislike button on Facebook. Mm-hmm. The closest thing, I think, is that little angry face, that little red think, face. And you know what? Yeah. On Twitter, yeah. there's a... Uh, or sorry, not on Twitter, on, on, on Facebook. Facebook. Sorry, there's... Um, and I think that angry face is meant to agree with a negative comment. For example... North Dakota pipeline protesters get jail, get thrown in jail. Someone would be like, oh, what the hell? A protester? Angry face. You know? You're not going to thumbs up. So currently there's a thumbs up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, sorry, so on Facebook, there's a thumbs up. Yeah. A heart. Yeah. For you really like it. Really. You, I love it. I can't be without it. Like heart between like... You know, A plus M. Oh, there is yeah, a oh, yeah. A plus M. <laughs> That's the love of there's, A plus M. That's what the heart is for. There is a happy face. Can we not talk about M? 
There's a surprised face with like a, oh my God, I don't believe this it. I'm going to wrap it up. There's a face yeah. with a tear. So I guess that face was in jail. Uh, oh, and they yeah. got the teardrop tattoo. <laughs> and then there is a red, like angry. Uh, yeah, the ang- yeah. Sorry, angry. So angry. these these things are like, love, ha ha, wow, wow, hate, sad, and angry. Yeah. So there's nothing really that's there's nothing really analogous to a dislike button. No, no, and that, that's no. Or on Facebook. Sorry. That, that, and that's why Facebook is trying to cultivate a more positive atmosphere, which you, you, <coughs> I would have to agree with. That. I, you know what, I do too. If you had a if you had a dislike button. Everything will get disliked to oblivion. Oh yeah, yeah. you 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 easily. Would, Facebook is already by <laughs> trying to deal with their platform being used for heavy bullying. Mm. Uh, and then, but and at least that's more than I can say for what Twitter is trying to do. Twitter just doesn't care. No, Twitter. And when, you, Twitter. When, you, when you let the weeds take over the garden, nobody wants to deal with your garden. Listen to the poet. Listen to the poet, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should play a loot. <laughs> play a loot. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, but uh, you know, in the but in the world of Twitter, it's 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 there's no like button. Okay, there, there actually there, there is, is button, there is actually. a like button where you can favor. Actually, you know what? There's a favor button. I think people use that the wrong way. That heart, I think you... Met- uh, the heart is on Facebook. No, the heart it's, it's, on it's Twitter. It's on Twitter now. There's a heart For on favorites. Twitter is to favorite. Yes. And I think people use it wrong. It's more or less the same difference, though. If you favorite it, it shows an agreement or a liking of it. Mm-mm. It shows Mm-mm. an approval of it. Mm-mm. I think that favorite button is to add to your list of favorites so you can go back to those tweets so let's say it's basically there is no, uh, there's no cure, but because if you liked it, you would retweet it. You would read. Yeah, but there's no, but there's no list of uh, of stuff that you've liked. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Wait, no, there wait. is. Are you talking about Facebook or Twitter? No, Twitter. Twitter. If you go, if you like a tweet, it, look, does, right it doesn't become a, right a separate like. You go to your profile page, you tap on likes, all your liked tweets are oh, listed. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. This is why I. This is this is the conclusion I personally came to. It's like, why is that heart there? You know what? I think it really. I think it's like your favorite, your list of favorite tweets but that's all that you can go a, back to. A bookmark icon, then. That's that's yeah. But, it's uh, like bookmark, I think yeah. they tried to change it though. I think it's supposed to be a like now. Before it used to be a star, was it not? Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't remember. It wasn't always a heart. Twitter. Look, th- there's a reason why Twitter hasn't been bought. Okay. <laughs> Twitter is basically a forum to complain about things, oh, but yeah, nothing oh, yeah. will oh, nothing yeah. will actually get done. If you are ever wronged by a giant corporation, the first thing people do is they go on and bitch at that corporation Definitely. on Twitter. Definitely. But there is no sort of there, there is no customer service program in place where they will find you on Twitter and they'll fix your issue. Okay. No. It's basically smaller companies do, but not the big ones. Yeah. yeah. There's some. To, there's some that do. There's Twitter. some that will actually. Sorry. There's some that will actually answer you and say, you know what, contact me at this number, or I've opened up a ticket for you. Call. Here's the ticket number. We'll get your issue resolved. These are that large, has happened to me. These are large companies. Uh, Budweiser. Depends on the company. Uh, Did you find a rat in your bottle? Like, no, like my, strange brew? my my free Bluetooth, um, my free Bluetooth radio uh, speaker. Yeah, uh-huh. like the switch was broken. I said it didn't work, uh-huh. and I tweeted. They email. They they got back to me. Hey, um, we opened up a ticket. Call us. We'll get it resolved. Nice. Um, so there's uh, if I find I found this piece of plastic in the can of Folgers. Please call us here. We'd like to get more details. So there's some companies that actually. Um, actually use that platform um, for customer service. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's quick. I'm, it's quick in a way where, you know, you can call them up and not wait on hold and just say, hey, look, I found this in my coffee and then they'll get back to you, you know? It's better than waiting on hold, I think. 
But has anything ever resulted from that? Yeah, like they'll mail you coup- like they'll get your address, they'll mail you coupons, you'll get like a free it depends, you know, it depends what the company is. Like Briar sent me free ice cream. Gave gave me coupons for a free tub of ice cream and, and other discounts. So they use, you know, that that platform it can be used for good. Twitter. So you're saying there's value in the Twitter? Customer service wise, it's customer service wise a, appears to be. It appears to be because you send, it's not. You can send an email. I mean, yeah, <coughs> you can. Know, to, um, me, to me, but Twitter, again, Eugene said that the Twitter was instantaneous. Yeah, Twitter to me just seems to be people spouting off at the mouth about whatever. It, dis- of course, they just like. Of and, course, and of course, I do it. There's too much anonymity on the Twitter for me. Prim Kathleen Wynn, go fuck yourself. I've well, tweeted yeah, it. But I'll I've tweeted tell, it. Yeah, but I'll I'll tell her that to her. I'll tell her that to her face. Well, I well, I, how how who here will get to meet you know meet face to face with her and say yeah, you know what true. I hate your policies and I hate your politics and I think you should be thrown <laughs> thrown away. Um. So the but next thing we but and, and again they probably have their secretary looking after the account. But anyways, I think I think we need some final words. On this topic of commenting, Big V. I had absolutely no words to begin with. He doesn't even have a Twitter <laughs> account. I do not even have any words to end it. Thank you. It's very sad. We'll make it up to you, Big V. I, I had absolutely nothing with regards to this topic. Just I could care less. I leave no topic. I leave no. Uh, what do you call it? No. Stone unturned? No, no, I don't leave any comments at the end of. Not even a fan of the comments. You know, no, I don't even read them. I but some half the time I don't even know that they're there. You know what? Those four seconds just made this just made this podcast even better. That's perfect. Yeah, that is all. Thank you, <laughs> Tito. Any parting words? Uh, I've had personal use for comment sections, but, uh, I guess if there's one diamond in the rough out there and the rest of it's very rough, maybe it's not worth keeping. Hmm. Interesting. Breeze? Uh, the comment sections, I just find that no value whatsoever. Uh, personal blogs, things like that I've had where I've enabled comment moderation. Yep. Um, the comments don't really add anything. Like the best thing that you can do, if you like something, share it someplace. Yeah. If you don't like something, yeah. just don't share it and it will go away. I think I think in your share you can have your comment about it. Yeah. Saying this guy's nuts or I agree with this. But so for instance, in this podcast we've talked about something that I follow called Ratch Ratch Loves, right? Yeah. I've shared that with you. So the amount of comments that I made leave on any of her videos. Yes. About makeup or home decoration or whatever the case may be. Like I've just shared with you Ratch Loves. So anyone who's listening to the podcast can go out and find R-A-C-H-H-L-O-V-E-S. Find her on Twitter. Find her on YouTube and watch her videos. And then you can decide for yourself, mm. right? The amount of video, the amount of comments that I may leave on any one individual video pale in comparison to one share. Thank you. JR, closing words? I think if people aren't going to act like grown-ups, then they need, then they need to be treated. If they're going to act like children, they need to be treated like children. Uh, yeah. And their and they're toy taken away. I think I, I think I, I think time for the comment section is 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 t- come and gone. Hmm. They're not, they're not going to use it for the intelligent discussion it was intended for. That's true. Yeah. Then there's then it's not serving a purpose. Yeah. I agree. I agree. The comment section should be feedback <clears throat> on on what you read, right? Um, and not necessarily attack uh, the person that wrote it. Exactly. <clears throat> I'm with you. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> thank you for joining us on this podcast. Um, don't forget, please um, follow us on Twitter <laughs> at uh, Crew Roundtable. Thank you. 
uh, on Twitter and, and rate uh, and, su- and rate and subscribe on iTunes. Yeah, uh, for sure. You can uh, check us out on iTunes and rate our uh, podcast five stars. Um, you can uh, subscribe to us on Stitcher Radio, and you can also add our feed to your favorite podcasting app. And our website is crewradio.blogspot.com. Thank you. This is uh, three beers, two hits of scotch, two bottles of water. I think I'm done for the night. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Woo! Thank you. Come again. (laughs) You've been listening to the Crew Roundtable Podcast. Thank you for listening. For more information on our show, please visit us at www.crewroundtable.com. You can also reach us over Twitter at Crew Roundtable. Hashtag Ask the Crew for show ideas, topics, or questions. <laughs>